welcome to Case Mom and welcome to our Halloween haul. Halloween haul slash Halloween plans video. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be talking about Halloween because it's gonna be slightly different this year, obviously, because of the whole situation that we're in and the restrictions being put in place to at least where I am. So we're not going to be able to have a party where kids and their friends can gather around even though we don't have that kind of Halloween celebration that they're kind of used to. I still want to make this Halloween something special and something fun for them even if it's just going to be us here at home. So, of course, they're going to have costumes still just because they're not going to be able to go out and knock on other people's doors for trick or treat or anything like that doesn't mean that the fun has to stop, right? I mean, we just have to learn to adapt and get on with it. So, first, Halloween is about costumes. So the first one that I have for you obviously is costumes and this one is for my younger daughter the younger one and this is a pirate costume it comes with hair accessory which is a hairband that has a little uh, pirate hat on it so it's really cute so that's one costume that we're gonna have and the next costume is for my older daughter. We got this from AliExpress because this year she wants to be a vampire. And so we were able to find this and luckily it arrived really quickly because you never know when you order from AliExpress, sometimes it arrives quickly and sometimes it takes a couple of months. So luckily this one arrived and this is what it looks like. It's got like a big collar up there and then it's got this beautiful sleeve and yeah so it's a really long dress too it's a very nice one so I guess the only thing I'm gonna do about this costume is I'm gonna try and make the collar a little bit stiff so that you know it would definitely look like you know vampire's collar it's not expensive or anything but it's pretty good i was able to wash this actually in the washing machine and it turned out really well dressing up for halloween is not complete without makeup and i'm talking about face makeup like this <laughs> this is for halloween it's a halloween family makeup kit we were able to get this from b m so we haven't really used makeup like this so I might have to try it out like do a skin test or a patch test on them to see if they're gonna be sensitive to it or not before using it because honestly I, I have no idea if these are any good or is this gonna be causing them an irritation on their skin or anything like that so before I actually do use this on them I might try it on myself and a tiny bit on a small area on their skin just to see first if this will be okay but yeah I have this if I can't use it on them I'll let them use this on me which is gonna be a fun activity for them I mean I think any little girl's uh, dream is to be able to put <laughs> makeup on their mommy's face <laughs> so yeah I might let them do that if I can't use this on them but I did get this just to see how it goes either way we'll be able to use it either on them or just on me with them applying it on me and doing whatever crazy makeup they want to do on my face on Halloween just so that they have something fun to do you know speaking of other fun things to do it's not Halloween until you have a pumpkin carved <laughs> so yes we are going to make a jack o lantern out of this pumpkin we got this pumpkin for like two pounds in sainsbury's so it's not too bad i will probably wait to carve it out like probably at the start of their school break 
for Halloween just so they have something you know fun to do when they're off school so we're gonna do that and at the same time we're also gonna start putting up the Halloween decorations I don't have a lot of Halloween decorations I think I did a haul video on those before and yeah I still have those decorations I usually wait like a few days before Halloween before putting them up like probably a week before Halloween it's again something for them to look forward to when they take a break from school a pumpkin carving activity would it's always nice I'll let them decide whatever design they want on the pumpkin whether it's gonna be like the usual jack-o-lantern you know face or if they want something different like maybe carve a unicorn out of this or anything like that and once we're done obviously we're gonna put a candle inside and light it up and it's gonna be a really nice little lantern jack-o-lantern with a nice warm glow we can have it lit up every day until Halloween and the other activity that I have in store for them for Halloween is baking they love baking cupcakes or muffins and we are going to decorate them for Halloween so I got these ready-made frostings from home bargains so this one is in the color orange and this one is in the color black they're both vanilla flavor and we're gonna put this on the cupcake and then I might also get like fondants where I can cut out different Halloween shapes like probably a bat or a cat or a ghost shape or anything like that. I'm gonna use the cookie cutters and then cut shapes out of them and let them dry so that we can stick them on top of the frostings on the cupcakes. A very quick but fun and simple decoration for the cupcakes. That's one activity and the other one that I'm planning to make as well are those um, rice cakes that are shaped into little pumpkins. I might show how to do that in one of my upcoming videos. So if it is successful, if I'm able to pull it off, then I will post it. But if I don't post it, then I guess it didn't come out right, right? <laughs> so yeah, but that's another thing that we're gonna be making. And then, of course, it's not really Halloween for kids unless they do trick or treat. But just because we're staying in doesn't mean that they can't do trick-or-treat. So, if they're gonna do trick-or-treat, they need buckets. So we got these buckets from Little. We got the green one and the orange one so that they can fill these buckets with some goodies. And yes, they're gonna go trick-or-treating here inside our home. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hide some candies everywhere and then they'll go around and find them and then put them all in their buckets so the candies that i have here are these this is a packet of different candies they're just regular candies really it's just the wrappers like the wrapping is just it looks like it's Halloween, but it's just the normal candies like lollipops, chewy candies, hearts or love hearts candies. I also have marshmallows. Well, obviously, I'm not gonna sprinkle the marshmallows or hide them around the house individually. These marshmallows, we'll probably use them on whatever baking activity that we're gonna be doing that day. I also got them this party selection mini chocolates. So... There's different chocolates in here. That's so these are just mini chocolate bars. I think we got that from Little or something. And then, of course, we have some gummy candies as well. These are individually packed gummy candies. All these candies, we're going to hide them everywhere in the house. Yeah, they're going to do a little kind of like a trick-or-treat candy hunting activity. I just want to say before you all go, that's a lot of candy. Yes, it is a lot of candy. They are going to be allowed to have a couple or so of these candies on Halloween, but they're not going to be allowed to eat it all. So don't be worried. Like, I'm not that kind of parent. These candies, it's going to last them probably weeks and weeks before they're all gone. Of course, 
our Halloween is not going to be complete because we have started this tradition where after, you know, getting all the excitement and um, the candies and stuff like that, we try to get cozy and settle down and have a little story. And we're going to be reading beside our Jack O'Lantern a book. And the book that we're going to be reading is my book, which is The Unicorn in a Tutu and the Stolen Pumpkin. It is a very nice story, if I may say so myself. Yes, I did write this book and it is currently available on Amazon. So if you guys want to try and have a story time with your kids as well for Halloween, get this on Amazon in time for Halloween. Like, get it now. <laughs> so yeah. So this book we're gonna be reading this it's a rhyming book about a unicorn in a tutu who is looking for a stolen pumpkin maybe it's this one so yeah and that is what we are going to be doing for halloween this year so it's not gonna be party with other people but it is still gonna be a party and it's still gonna be fun but how about you guys how are you celebrating halloween this year leave them down in the comments and let us know okay so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you again next time bye <laughs>